Welcome back to Free Media. I'm Amber Duke. And I'm Robbie Suave. Vice President Kamala Harris is under fire for plagiarism related to her 2009 book, Smart on Crime. Claims by conservative think tanker Christopher Rufo say that she copied several passages from sources like Wikipedia and public reports without proper citation. These accusations have sparked criticism from her political opponents, including Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, who've used the issue to question her authenticity. Here's Vance on the matter. I, I saw today, uh, actually, a story that Kamala Harris apparently copied some significant chunks of her book from Wikipedia. So if you want a president with their own ideas, vote for Donald Trump. If you want a president who copies her own ideas from Wikipedia, vote for Kamala Sorry, Harris. Yep. In reaction, mainstream media headlines called out the claims of plagiarism as a targeted conservative attack on Harris instead of, you know, holding her accountable for the offense. CNN's take said, quote, conservative activist accuses Harris of plagiarizing passages in co-authored 2009 book. And the New York Times said, conservative activist seizes on passages from Harris's book. Both outlets downplay, but do not deny that Harris did not properly cite lifted passages in her book. Just incredible. For example, CNN noted that the outlet reviewed several of the passages highlighted by Rufo and found that Harris and co-author of the book O.C. Hamilton, quote, failed to properly attribute language to sources. The Times took a more downplayed reproach. They consulted a plagiarism expert who dismissed Rufo's claims of plagiarism as exaggerated, arguing that the mistakes were minor citation errors given the document's length. He suggested that Rufo was making a big deal out of relatively small issues, emphasizing that the errors didn't indicate an intent to deceive. The Times noted that the Harris campaign in a statement rejected the accusations as a right-wing attack to try to derail her growing support. Okay, this is incredible. Um, I don't know what I would have expected, but the, the media is reacting to this, I guess exactly as you would have predicted. It's shameful and wrong. Um, Rufo has found tangible, real examples of textbook plagiarism in Kamala Harris's book. They are multiple ones, 12 at least. Some of them are worse than others. A few of them are quite bad. Entire passages that ought to have been put in quotes because they're direct quotations. This isn't even just a like, didn't paraphrase enough. There's like direct quotes that, that should have been in quotation marks. Um, look, you can say this is relatively minor, I guess, if you want, but this is, this is something like students get academic disciplinary charges for doing. It is, it is not correct. It's something that uh, media fact-checking people uh, of a liberal orientation will call out in Republicans' books when they find them and gets those people in trouble. It is plagiarism and to frame it as, how dare you notice the plagiarism? That's what we're mad about from the New York Times. <laughs> it was the same reaction though when Harvard, former Harvard sure. president Claudine Gay was caught plagiarizing a, a lot of her academic research and a lot of her academic record, her papers that she had submitted uh, for dissertations and things like that, it was uh, conservatives are pouncing because she didn't say the right thing at the congressional hearing. It's like, okay, maybe there was an outsized focus on her academic work because of her appearance in front of Congress for that event. But are the accusations true or not? And it turns out that they were, and they were enough for her to ultimately leave her post at Harvard. So it's often the case that when conservatives do something bad, the story from the mainstream media is that the conservative did something bad. But if the liberal did something bad or the leftist did something bad, it's conservatives pointing out that the leftist did something bad. Conservatives pounce, conservatives seize. It's always the reaction to the offense rather than just a story about the offense itself. Yeah. The phenomenon you just pointed out is is completely undeniable. It's just, just it's so obvious. It happens time and time again. Um, I, I'm actually sometimes surprised that the media hasn't even absorbed that criticism I because think they have though or they're doing it because it, so that's it, funny because they used to use pounce and now it's C's. and now it's C's yeah. and they keep, <laughs> those are the same they, thing <laughs> they keep coming up with new verbiage yeah it's uh it, it's amazing because again they're not really in the article disputing that it did happen it's just this strong denunciation of the effort to find and identify this you know biden when he first ran for president, what, in, in, what was it, 1988? Something like <laughs> before, that, yeah. Before you were born? Yes. <laughs> um, 
his candidacy was ended because he plagiarized a speech from a British politician. That's right. So this used to be something that would end a campaign. Um, so I, I think, given that, it, it's fair to call it out and point to it. Maybe it's not the biggest deal in the whole world, but if the response is only, well, plagiarism in these kinds of books or academic works is widespread, is, is that really that comforting? Isn't or, that I a guess, bigger indictment of the system? Yeah, or if, if you don't think this case. is actual plagiarism, please let the undergraduates know and update your policy <laughs> right. so that they can just lazily copy-paste their research papers, save themselves some time. Fine, fine by me, whatever, but like, let's make, it, let's make it across the board. I mean, I literally learned this in elementary school in yeah. like, library classes where we were warned not to copy and paste things from Wikipedia. Yeah. And uh, you and I have both written books, you more than I have, but I, can you imagine getting away with multiple Multiple paragraphs. I actually can't imagine getting away right? with it because they, they they edit the. I mean, you read your book a bunch of times, and the editor reads the book a bunch of times. Now, maybe in fairness to her, maybe she didn't write the book, right? Maybe it was go just written by the other guy, ghost written, and Who's she just them? signed off. I can't on say it. who's among us because we both no, wrote I ours. Actually, wrote my book. Yeah. yeah. Can, you, can you imagine having someone else? I mean, I'd be afraid to attach my oh, name <laughs> to something else that someone else wrote and then I didn't even carefully read. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. That's the lesson in all of this. Yes, absolutely. Astonishing. Well, we'll continue to follow how the media reacts to these accusations. I will have more to say on it later this week in newsletter format and so on. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let us know how you like our show. We've got some new people working on it behind the scenes, so we've got exciting things to come, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.